Good day to all. My name is Gan Yu Zhu and I'm a final student from Chemical Engineering Department of University Technology Petronas. The topic of my proposal defense today is the development of mesoporous silica polymer mixed matrix membranes for CO2 CH4 separation. In today's world, everyone is aware that the emission of carbon dioxide or CO2 gas into the atmosphere by large scale has caused severe impacts towards the environment such as global warming and the greenhouse effect. Besides, CO2 detected in industrial gas streams may corrode the piping system due to its acidic properties. Looking back to our topic today, the removal of CO2 gas from methane gives us an energy-dense product, as methane is rich in calorific energy while CO2 has no heating value. Due to these reasons, the separation of CO2 gas has been a topic worthy to study. There are various kinds of gas separation techniques available to perform gas separation including absorption, absorption, and cryogenic distillation, and among all of it, the membrane technology has been one of the most discussed methods, as it is easy to scale up, requires low energy consumption, and financially friendly. There are three common types of membrane in use for gas separation, namely polymeric membranes, inorganic membranes, and mixed matrix membranes. Each of these types of membrane possess respective pros and cons, giving it different priorities in different usage. Generally, organic polymeric membranes are well known for its low fabrication cost, availability to scale up, and good mechanical stability. However, it suffers from the trade-off between selectivity and permeability in gas separation. On the other hand, inorganic membrane does not experience the trade-off relationship and is chemically and permeably more stable, allowing it to operate under harsh conditions. However, it is usually brittle and costly. Due to the significant pros and cons of the two membranes, the research of the heterogeneous mixed metric membranes, which is a combination of two or more materials with respective advantages, were carried out by embedding inorganic materials as filler into an organic polymer matrix. Moving on, the table shows some results of previous literature or studies on CO2-CH4 gas separation performed by different mixed metric membranes, with different combinations of polymer matrix and inorganic material as filler. However, the problem is that it is still remain challenged to seek for an inorganic material as filler that offers minimum diffusion resistance to be incorporated by mixed metric membranes. Therefore, this project will be focusing on the study of mixed metric membrane with polymeric membrane incorporated with mesoporous silica as filler. In this study, polysulfane or PSF membrane and MSU2 a mesoporous silica material was chosen as polymer matrix and inorganic filler respectively. To the best of knowledge, the fabrication of membranes with this combination have not been reported so far. Therefore, we are looking forward to fill in the research gap for this field by determining the most suitable parameters for this membrane subjected to separate CO2, CO4 gas efficiently. The main objectives of us carrying out this project are firstly, to fabricate mixed metric membranes incorporated with different loading of MSU2 filler. Secondly, to characterize the fabricated mixed metric membranes with different analytical techniques. And thirdly, to perform CO2, CH4 gas permeation studies for the fabricated mixed metric membrane. As mentioned above, Polymeric membranes were selected for this study over categories of organic membranes such as glassy and rubbery polymer. And among the wide variety of polymeric membranes, polysulfone emerged as our option. Generally, polysulfone or PSF membrane as shown below have a dense layer that highly contributes to gas permeability and at the same time offering better selectivity. Besides, it possesses relatively good thermomechanical stability among polymeric membranes. Nonetheless, PSF membranes suffer from typical polymeric membrane drawbacks such as the trade-off relationship between selectivity and permeability, uncontrollable pore size and poor thermal and chemical stability, preventing it to function under harsh conditions. On the other hand, the inorganic material selected as filler in this project is MSU2 mesoporous silica. Generally, mesoporous silicas have relatively larger pore size of 2 to 50 nanometers offering greater permeability and selectivity of targeted components, free from the trade-off relationship. Among various types of mesoporous silica, MSU2 was possessed with highly interconnected 3D wormhole-like framework structure that gives it exceptional mesoporous connectivity, 
large total pore volume, and specific surface area. These characteristics can effectively reduce the diffusion resistance of gas within the membrane, hence promoting its gas separation performance. Moving on, mixed matrix membranes is an outcome product of utilizing two or more materials with different properties. It was fabricated by casting a mixture of polymer solution with inorganic fillers embedded. In this study, mixed matrix membranes are fabricated by using PSF membranes with MSU2 as inorganic fillers embedding into it. Usually, mixed matrix membranes tend to offer properties of both the materials used. Therefore, an excellent mixed matrix membrane with good interaction between inorganic filler and polymer phase will possess the pros of both the materials. It can offer great operating stability, low fabricating costs as well as good gas separation performance without suffering from the trade-off relationship. To add on, selection of suitable combination of materials is highly affecting its performance. The experiment work for this project will kick off with the synthesis of MSU2 as inorganic filler. The whole process involves a fluoride assisted two-step process, starting with the self-assembly of silica surfactant, then the silica condensation for the formation of colloidal solution. Firstly, tetraethyl orthosilicate or TEOS will be mixed with 100 ml of 0.02 molarity Triton X100 aqueous solution at molar ratio of 8 to 1. Diluted hydrochloric acid, HCl, is then added until the solution reaches pH value of 2. The solution will then undergo sonication, stirring, and aging to give a clear solution. Next, to facilitate the condensation process, sodium fluoride, NaF powder, will be mixed with the H solution at 0.04 to 1 molar ratio to TOS. The solution will then undergo a 48-hour heat bath at 55 degrees Celsius then have its precipitate filtered and washed. After calcinating the filtrate at 620 degrees Celsius for 6 hours and dry it, MSO2 filler is ready. Up next is the fabrication of pristine polysulfone PSF membrane by using dry phase inversion method. PSF padlets will be pre-dried overnight to remove excess moisture. Then, 3.29 grams of PSF padlets will be dissolved in 10 ml of tetrahydrofuran or THF solvent at room temperature by stirring, giving us a dope solution. The solution will be further stirred for 18 hours until it forms a viscous solution. Then, the viscous solution will be transferred to an ultrasonic bath to undergo 4 hours of repeating sonicating and stirring process to remove the micro bubbles trap. The solution will then be left to stand overnight until no more gas bubbles can be observed. Moving on, the dope solution will undergo casting process using a casting knife with gap of 200 micrometer. The resulting thin film will be exposed in air and left to dry at room temperature for a day and then stop for further use. And this marks the completion of the PSF membrane fabrication. On the other hand, the mixed metric membranes will be prepared by using similar approaches as above. However, various loading of MSU2 from 0 to 10 weight percent will be dispersed respectively into the THF solution and undergo a 30 minutes ultrasonication before PSF pellets were dissolved in it and the remaining steps are identical. The table below shows the pristine PSF membrane and mixed metric membranes fabricated in current study. Varies in terms of the weak percentage of MSU2 filler incorporated into the membrane. The fabricated membranes and fillers will then undergo a series of characterization process to analyze respective properties and characteristics. In this step, we will be studying the morphology, pore characteristics, crystallinity, functional groups, and also the thermal stability of these materials. The equipment or tools used for each analysis are shown as in the bracket and images below. This data will be further utilized to explain the gas separation performance of the membranes. Finally, the evaluations on the gas permeation and separation of the pristine PSF membrane 
and mixed matrix membranes of different filler loadings will be studied by using the experimental setup as illustrated in the image. The membrane sample will be sealed in a flat sheet membrane module with silicon gasket to prevent gas leakage and the single gas of CO2 or CH4 will be fed respectively. The study will be carried out under room temperature of 25 degrees Celsius with transmembrane pressure controlled at 4 bar by using the back pressure regulator. And on the other hand, permeate pressure was kept at atmospheric pressure. A capillary bubble flow meter will be employed to determine the volumetric flow rate of the permeate for further calculation. The permeability of gas species can be determined by using the following equation. Whereas the ratio of the product between permeate flow and membrane thickness to the product between effective membrane area and transmembrane pressure across the membrane indicates the respective gas permeability of gas studied. Furthermore, ideal selectivity of the membrane can be determined by obtaining the ratio of CO2 permeability to CH4 permeability as shown as in the equation on the right. To increase the accuracy of our result, the measurement of gas permeation for each single gas are planned to be repeated for at least three times. Last but not least, below shows the gun chart and the project milestone plan for this project. The progress of the project up till now are all fulfilled as planned. As conclusion, the emission of CO2 gas as greenhouse gases into the surroundings due to human activities has created a massive impact towards the environment and is now threatening humanity. We are putting high hope on mixed matrix membrane technology in tackling this issue due to the great potential it shows. This project will then proceed with a series of experimental works as planned above and this works aim to answer our problem statement and fulfill the objective arise. And now we have reached the end of my proposal defense presentation. With that, thank you.